Start of day two. Day two would be from Stanley to Lowman. This morning we got a 5 a.m. start and would be accomplishing a special test uh, almost immediately. Uh, however, we did uh, take the wrong trail. We, we got on Little Casino, which is the way we're supposed to come back, but we got about a mile in, figured it out, turned around, and uh, hit the big casino. And then to the second part of Big Casino, which uh, starts the special test, to our first stop of the day, which was Big Casino View. Recording, recording, headset. Uh, recording, recording. Three buttons and hit logging. Uh, well, if, if see that pause emblem? Yeah. You want to just make sure that is ah, got a red circle, and then gotcha. trail okay we'll find a let's find a spot so we can get turned around Scott did you hear that come on down Zach Turn around. What's that? Yeah, just find you a spot. What's that? turned around uh, now we are on big casino a uh, little casino will be coming back on Woo. well time to get your feet wet Day two, 
on big casino left from lower standing sun's coming up oh, 553 left at 5 this morning and it is 44 degrees out hands are frozen nipples are rock hard but I'm on my dirt bike so can't really complain Glasses, yeah, that are transitional, but you can get them prescription. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because it sucks. I that might actually be a good idea for you. Yeah, but I, one thing I think you got to pay attention to like, I've got a pair in here, but they're tight in here, so you got to find some with some small stem. Clean the fog off. I'm good. Harder drum mode. Harder drum mode. He has a way of doing that. We're shit. Oh. Making it, Cooper making it look easy. Oh. <laughs> hey, I got to see y'all before. So ah, yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys which line not to take. <laughs> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Mosquitoes found us. I, I dabbed on purpose on that one. It looked deep. No. We go up up this next hard section and then we come down a mountain bike trail to the highway uh, there's a lookout up there so we could get a special test by doing what we just did and going to the lookout or you can go do what we just did and do the rest of it that lookout looked it looked a little sketchy so they did it the nasty did it but they did it all. That's exactly right.
Yeah, anywhere in here, Dave. All right, perfect. That shit, right? Hey, scoot forward just a little bit. Looks a little flatter. That shit was good. After completing Big Casino, we were in for a real treat. Uh, we were done with the special test, and, and the rest of this loop was uh, basically getting bonus miles. And uh, man, the trails that finished off this loop were uh, probably some of the best we rode on the trip. The Williams Creek Trail was a nine and a half mile brushed and groomed mountain bike trail, and it was an absolute blast. And then Boundary Creek Trail, it climbed and climbed. Uh, and then the Sunny Gulch and the Little Casino Creek Trails were also just awesome. So we would uh, finish off the loop and go back to Stanley and get some breakfast. All right, this is a uh, big casino just continued. We're getting close to the end. We're getting be our second special test and we're going to get a bunch of bonus mileage. Oh, hey. Take the right line, Pat.
coming up on the end of the boundary trail. There's a good one. Sucker climb and climb. finished the boundary trail we just turned on to Sunny Gulch it's like four miles and then we got six miles of little casino and we're back to Stanley I think that's Lake Stanley there Dave, you got a copy? Yeah, there you go, I got you. When you get up here and see this big ass tree, look at the initials in it. Sh Sean Smith, JP, and that other guy. Yeah, it's a big bastard. Thank you, Sean Smith. That's a big one. still 30. Did you guys see that big old tree back there? Yeah. Did you see the initials in it? Sean Smith. That's the one they posted on Facebook. Sean Smith, John, JP, JP and, and uh, I think it was you. <sighs> a couple of hours cutting that shit. Because all the guys are going to change all the 16 inch bar on. Okay, so after admiring the big damn tree that Sean and company cut down and getting our uh, little casino picture, it was just a short couple miles into Stanley where we would get gas and eat some breakfast and get ready for the afternoon. All right, we're still on little casino. You know, I probably already said it this morning. It's been freaking amazing. These trails are so good. Still on a little casino, big casino we took this morning. It was up on that ridge. A little casino coming back on this side. It's just a beautiful day. Shit. Yes, sir. It's way 
different than the light. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. That's what I was saying too. I'm like, man, this is kind of easier to ride when I can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't really recognize it. And then I seen it out here and I was like, oh, I guess that was it. <laughs> After getting gas and taking time to have some breakfast uh, it'd be a short 14 miles up to the next stop which was Basin Butte Lookout. Funny thing is is uh, we went out on the same trail we came in the night before and uh, <laughs> a big tree had fell in the middle of the night so we had to break out the saw and, and clear trail. It was a damn good breakfast. That was wicked good. It was worth the time. Took us one hour to get gas and get food. All right, we have left Stanley, made it up to Joe's Gulch Road, and now we're on the. First I was talking to the camera. So now we're on the single track. This is the single track we came in on last night, but we're just gonna ride backtrack it for a little bit and then pick up a new trail. Got some fresh fall. Ah, uh, I think chainsaw. I think we got chainsaw duty. the trail we came in on, now we made the left turn, can't remember right offhand what this is called, basin, little basin or something. Basin Butte Lookout. There's the sawtooth. And there's the lookout. And there's a Zach Wild. cotton there. That's what I heard. 
As long as you didn't lose any. No, no. Uh, earlier it was way over here, so I readjusted it, and it was way over here, so we <laughs> restrapped it. So leaving uh, the Basin Butte lookout, it'd be I don't know, 15 miles or so to our next scheduled stop, which would be Martin Lake View. Leaving the lookout, we would uh, hit the East Fork Valley single track and then uh, cross the highway. And we had an option to do a special test, but my research indicated it might not be worth the risk. There's like a swamp monster out there. And then it was a heck of a heck of a climb up to the uh, to the view of Martin Lake. It was a uh, it was loose and rocky and uh, good times. Uh, gonna go down here and hit the East Valley Fort or East Fort Valley Trail. sure oh looks like we're getting ready to cut another tree
just keeps on giving, doesn't she? I was like, Cooper just took a cheat line to get around me blocking the trail. I didn't mean to, but I was trying to get my distance, but then like he had stopped and I was just stopping. I was like, where did he go? Hold on, let me get back up. Yeah, I was just stopping to catch my damn breath. I think it was better where I was at, though. Yeah, it looked better. Because it wasn't as many rocks. Yeah. Whew, here comes that. No, Bailey. Uh oh. Oh, the old man made it. <laughs> After crossing the divide, we would uh, descend the mountain on the Iron Lola Creek Trail and then cross. Uh, Cross Highway 21, uh, continuing on the Iron Lola Creek Trail. Um, that trail was really, really fun. Good flow, pretty scenery. And then uh, then we made the, the left turn up the Wyoming Fur Creek Trail and the Gates Creek Trail. We were the first team. Uh, the snow had finally cleared, so we were the first team to, uh, to do the Wyoming Fur uh, Trail. And, uh, man, it was... Uh, it was another uh, real good climb. Uh, good times for sure. Alright, now we're starting our descent. What do you mean? Oh. Uh. Well, it might be the power leads are chafed. The power lead to the... I mean, it's usually those pins, but I mean, there's wires that run all the way from the battery up there. So, maybe it's loose on the battery or maybe... Uh, Maybe they're chafed or something.
There's... Yeah. You need a charge? Yeah, you don't want to lose your battery. So. Yeah, whenever you, need, whenever you need to, I can plug it in. I was going to swap, but... Yeah, is your external battery... Well, it, it's been working all day, and I can do charge now, but then it'll stop. So I was going to just throw all this on your bike, and you can run my phone and charge it. Are you about out of battery? I got 56%. I'll just, just turn it off. Yeah, just quit navigating with it. For a while. Well, I've got let the... I've, got, I've got this external battery too. Okay, I might have to get that later than Sunday. Yeah. I'll check it here in a little bit to make sure it's good. Oh, yeah, I'm going to get the battery charged up. Yeah, that trail we came down the road and we're getting ready to start the Wyoming Creek Trail. Okay, from here we would uh, we would finish descending uh, off the mountain on the Gates Creek Trail, and we would uh, shortly take the Kirkham Ridge Trail for about a mile over to the Warm Springs Trail. The Warm Springs Trail was uh, 13.8 miles uh, that would eventually get us into into our lodging for the night. However, our next stop was uh, about three quarters of the way down. It was uh, the Warm Springs footbridge all right we're done filtering water back on the trail descending this is our next to last trail i think and uh the last trail warm springs almost 14 mile long it takes us into lowman i don't believe it's quite technical. This trail
Okay, final segment of the day, we would uh, finish off the Warm Springs Trail, and uh, then we would pick up uh, Highway 21 into our cabin in Loman. Again, just another wonderful, wonderful day of riding. close to the end of the warm springs trail. Four miles, I think, out there, nine miles.